Okay, so hello to everybody out there um, on YouTube and Instagram. I was trying to do a, a YouTube live just with my IG live, but the YouTube live was acting up. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick video. I'm losing my light, got the the fluorescent light. But um, uh, I wanted to just talk real quick about the immune system and keeping a strong immune system. This is a video I wanted to do for a while, especially in the winter time when people are getting colds and stuff like that. But people can get sick anytime during the year. And um, I really don't get sick like that. Like, I really get a cold, really get a flu, or I remember last time I've had a cold, or even blowing my nose. But for the past couple of days, I've like been blowing my nose. I woke up this morning, like, I woke up out of my sleep this morning, like my throat felt like it was closing, like I was having an allergic reaction, um, and it felt just dry and like, you know, closing, and um, and I've been sneezing, you know, my nose is itching, I keep scratching it, now I don't have allergies, you know, and I don't have a cold right now, and I'm like, what the hell, but, and I'm not necessarily a big fan of Dr. Oz, but he was on The Breakfast Club a few days ago, and he was saying that something with the pollen and the temperature right now is causing people to feel like they have a cold even though they don't have a cold a lot of people are having cold like symptoms and it has something to do with the pollen and the temperature or something now um so what i'm doing i actually feel better now than i did a couple hours ago um i just got some tea i went to my favorite tea place in harlem i'm in new york um i got a really good quality tea green tea i had my own echinacea tea I got green tea, green tea, um, had my own echinacea, put it in there, So drinking the green tea and echinacea. Anytime you start feeling like you're getting sick, um, a cold, a flu, like if you just feel it coming on, you want to drink green tea and echinacea. Like, green tea itself is really good for your immune system, but when you combine it with, um, echinacea, it's even more potent for your immune system. So for me, like I don't get sick, but if I ever feel like I might be getting a cold or something, I always drink green tea and echinacea. And I gave this advice to um, an aunt of mine who has really bad allergies and she's been suffering horribly. And I told her, OD on green tea and echinacea, but any kind of immune issue you have, anything that you might be battling, or especially if you feel like it's coming on in the early stages, um, and then I went and got some soup, some chicken soup, but a chicken broth base. It's a ginger, ginger chicken soup. So the broth has ginger chicken broth, right? And um, bok choy and chicken and noodles. And um, it's a big thing of it. And I got it from this place in Harlem called um, Pulled Noodle, which is on um, Broadway in like 147th Street in Harlem. And so um, I've been down in the soup. I honestly, my throat feels a lot better. I feel better now than I did um, two hours ago, okay? So for your immune system, you know, chicken broth. I don't care where you come from in the world. Everybody's parents gave them chicken broth. And please write comments on my YouTube video. If you're from wherever and your mother or your grandmother gave you chicken broth when you were getting sick, please note that, okay? Because I like to collect that, that um, you know, the anecdotal evidence. Um, and then also, um, uh, probiotics, okay? So I take probiotics on a regular basis, and everybody should be taking probiotics. I have a lot of YouTube videos where I speak about that. If you haven't seen it, make sure you check it out on my YouTube page, The Body Scientist 81. And, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I post photos of it sometimes. But probiotics is essential. That's your first line of defense against any infectious disease. So if you get any infectious disease, whether it's from the food, whether it's from somebody coughing in your face, whether it's from you touching somebody, then you have an imbalance of bacteria and you always want to fight it with probiotics. You do not want to take antibiotics. Um, you do not want to um, start cleaning with antibacterial soap. You need probiotics. That's your first line of defense against infectious disease. So I was already taking a lot of probiotics. Um, oregano oil is another thing. Um, oregano oil, um, well, oil of oregano, and olive leaf um, extract. Both of those are extremely potent with killing any viruses, killing any bacteria. So you want to put things in your system that kills viruses and bacteria, but then you also, which includes the probiotics, because the probiotics also create an environment where disease-causing organisms cannot survive. Um, 
And probiotics do a lot of things, and I, I get into that in my other YouTube videos. So make sure you check them out, and I also will post them below this video. Um, another thing, I remember learning this in traditional Chinese medicine, where if you feel like you want to strengthen your immune system, like you feel like you're getting sick, uh, you can beat yourself in the chest like Tarzan. I forgot about this, right? This helps. Oh, I can feel it. <clears throat> This definitely helps to stimulate your immune system as well. Um, <laughs> I forget off the top of my head which glands it helps to stimulate, but um, it helps to stimulate immune cells. And I will put some more information about that below my YouTube video because I have so much stuff in my head. I can't remember exactly. Um, I don't know if it's a thyroid gland. I forget. But that's another thing that can help strengthen your immune system. Um, hello. Um... So we had the oil of oregano, um, uh, olive leaf extract, green tea and echinacea, probiotics, um, um, uh, chicken broth, right? And um, golden seal is another one that's also very good. You could also drink golden seal tea. But I think that green tea should be a staple. I feel like I haven't had a cold in years, and I gave this advice to my mom. I'm like, yo... Whenever she feels like she's getting sick, she just ODs on the green tea, and it will knock it right out, you know, before you even let it get full-fledged. Um, so we actually have to put work into maintaining our immune system, and there's a lot of natural things that you can use. I wouldn't just jump to some allergy medication or cold medication, and you really want to take action when you first feel it coming on, okay? So when you first feel like the, the beginnings of that kind of stuff, um, you want to take action. Um... So once again, probiotics, extremely important, and I recommend probiotics by a company called Garden of Life. Um, though They make the best probiotics. Um, and you also want to get, oh, cod liver oil, right? And I'll take cod liver oil too. Cod liver oil is extremely anti-inflammatory. And cod liver oil helps your body and your cells to eliminate um, toxins. And it's very um, immunoprotective, immunosupportive and anti-inflammatory. So cod liver oil as well. Um, and so, and then of course, like people that get colds and stuff like that in the summer, a lot of times that can happen from the change of temperature. People go from being someplace that's super hot to going inside in the air conditioner where it's freezing. That drastic change of temperature definitely affects your immune system like crazy. Um, so you wanna like maintain your body temperature. When you have that extreme change in body temperature, it can certainly affect your immune system. So those are, this is a, a quick video. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can tell you. I mean, there's a lot of things that could also help your immune system, like colado silver and grapefruit seed extract. And, but for sure, you always want to make sure you have, and these are things that's easy to get, green tea, green tea with echinacea. So you can get echinacea tea, green tea, combine them. Probiotics always, olive oil, chicken broth, um, yeah, and sleep, of course. Um, I'm about to sneeze again. And I don't have a cold. It's like something, I don't know, in the ethers. Um, and I feel like I need fresh air and stuff like that, right? Um, so yeah, just a, a few tips. I'll put some articles and stuff below on my, my YouTube page. Um, I'm losing my light. I like to shoot my videos in natural light and not this artificial light that's above me. So I just wanted to um, say this to you all while I was fresh in my mind. And um, if you're on Instagram and you don't follow me on YouTube, be sure to follow me on YouTube at the Body Scientist 81 And be sure to watch my videos because you will learn a lot, I promise. Share them. And um, um, if you're on YouTube, follow me on Instagram at the underscore body underscore scientist because there I post photos um, of certain things. Um, and there's things I post on Instagram that's not on YouTube and vice versa. Um, and I'm about to post photos of the soup I just ate on um, Instagram. So you just have to nourish yourself and nurse yourself, you know, back to good health. Um, but it's really good to take action when you first feel something coming on. Um, there are other things, too, that can strengthen your immune system, especially depending on what it is that you're dealing with. Um, you know, you got garlic. There's a lot of things. But this is just a quick um, little video about that. And I will do more. I'll do a more in-depth one. And... Um, 
depending on when you know what you're talking about, because there's also for women you have um, the vaginal steams and yoni steams, which can help with certain things as well. Um, I have a video about that too that I will post below on my YouTube page. So thanks for listening. If you learned something from this video, please like the video, follow my YouTube page, subscribe, and share the videos. Okay, and make sure to look at the videos below that I post on my YouTube pages as well because then you'll continue to learn. Okay? Have a good day, people, and I will talk to you later. Bye.